Welcome to Creative Narrative. And this is about these evil wicked Satanists in the north, the east, the west, and the south. And that's where these nebulous evil wicked people say their scripted news. But when you got an N-word like me that navigates, man, the enormity of these devils as well as these witches and warlocks and what they say, then you'll see what news I'm talking about. So I want to welcome you to the cabaret of the presidential race of our 50 segregated states. Alabama gave a nine electoral vote. Chick ching check for Trump. Alaska, three. And Arkansas, six to the trumpet. But Arizona, who surprised the Pope at people sip the drinks. Their 11 electorals will be going to old Uncle Joe. As well as California's 55, Colorado's nine. That must be for the week. Connecticut's seven, D.C.'s three votes goes to old Uncle Joe, too. As well as three other electoral votes from his home state of Delaware. So that's 88 for old Uncle Joe right out the gate. But Florida gave 29 to the trumpet. In Georgia. People, they got 16 electorates. But let me tell you something. It's up in the air. Georgia is not Atlanta. Or vice versa. However, Hawaii, well, they showed love for Uncle Joe and gave him four. But Idaho they gave Trump four more. Then Illinois gave Joe 20. I guess that was for Obama. But then a Trump came in. Paper, and he took Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, six, six, eight. And then Louisiana's eight. He gave Trump 28, plus Maine's four, plus one extra more, and the Trumps that got that one. Mm-hmm. But the Mad Dog Joe took many of the M states. He took Maryland's 10, Massachusetts 11. So 20 more, one more for Joe to add to his 88. <laughs> but Michigan's 16 still up in the air. They're going to lose the factories if G-Bass old Uncle Joe win Michigan. Stay tuned, folks. Now on to the great. 10,000 lakes of Minnesota. 10 electorals goes to Joe. Now he's a 98 Oldsmobile. <laughs> but Montana, three, they go to the Trump stuff. As well as Nebraska's five and Nevada, six. Whoop. Still too close to Knicks. 49.2 to 48.6. With over 95% in. Uh oh, it's trouble. People ain't 49.2 plus 48.6, 98.8. With over 95% in people, do the math. It ain't that much left. Anyway, on the joke, he takes New Hampshire four. And New York's 25 more. So, 29 electoral votes for Joe. North Click, Whew, people, this gonna get you sick. You hear me? 15 electorals up for church state grab. <laughs> for the hallelujah state. And the score's close. Trump 50.7 to 49.8 for Joe. Now, if you're counting like the poll. That's 0.5% more than 100%. Come on, add 50.7 plus 49.8 equals 7 plus 8 equals 15. Carry the 1, 9 plus 0 plus 1 equals 11. So carry the 1, 5.4 equals 9 plus 1 equals 10. So that's 100.5%. See? Anyway, three electorals for North Dakota. Three more for the South. You know what I'm saying? And Trump got both of them. Three plus two, three plus makes six. Come on. Ohio's 18 to the Trumpster. As well as Oklahoma, seven. But Oregon, seven. Goes to old Uncle Joe in Pennsylvania. 20 electorals up for grabs. And the bigger hand goes to the Trump stuff. You know why, people? As of now, 53% to 45% beside Metro Pittsburgh and Metro Philadelphia, which the votes is in, Democrats don't stand a chance. I mean, a good fighting chance, since, especially since Pennsylvania needs fracking to make their things happen. Rhode Island, Little Rhodey, four more was taken by Biden. Not surprising, he swept liberal New England. And South Click gave three checks, checks, checks for the trumpet. And Tennessee blew in with their 11. Texas is 38. Utah, six for a grand total of 58 electrons. You know what I'm saying? For four of the 51 pieces, don't forget D.C., they get three. But Biden snuck in and stole the state of lovers of Virginia. Come on, 13 electrons, along with... The 12 up for Seattle, Washington's grab. You know, in the West Virginia Mountaineers, well, they gave their trust to the trumpet. But not the Wisconsin people, at least not so far. And it's real close, y'all, 49.6 to 48.9, leaning towards the old Uncle Joe. Why, 1.5% of voters accounted left. Extra, extra, this just in. Old Uncle Joe, he won Wisconsin, but they're going to be recounting it, man. And Wyoming gave their isolated three electors to the trumpet, 248 to 214, led by Biden. But don't forget Pennsylvania's 20. And the recount.
count in Wisconsin. So Nevada, 6. Georgia, 16. North Carolina, 15. Pennsylvania, 20. Michigan, 16. Still up for grabs, people. Who gonna win? Who gonna win the presidency? I don't know. But there's 73 electorates. Votes left, people. And I predict 16 for Georgia, 20 for Pennsylvania, and the 6 for Nevada go to the Trumpster. 42 more electorates plus 214 equals 256 to 248 with Michigan and North Click. And I believe North Click will decide it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it will lead to a Trump victory. You understand? But the popular vote, just like before, 50.2 to 48.2 for old Uncle Joe. Now, if this happens, man, same old shit. I'm telling you, but that 270 with Nevada and Georgia remaining, and Georgia looks sort of Trumpish. Well, that would be 286. Not likely, but Trump could win 286 to 248. Or just lose 270 to less than 270. It's too close to call, y'all. You understand? Welcome to the Cabaret, the real news, y'all. That's how you break down. Who's winning? I don't know. <laughs> they be lying there. So, yo, I think he gonna win. News be talking about. <laughs> this shit ain't never gonna be over, y'all. Welcome to the cabaret. Really thinking, peace creation back.